friend of mine who was, op who was opening a dental office down in the South End, taking over Dr. Mackey's and completely redoing it. Uh, Razan is here. And uh, she's very excited to kind of engage the community and be part of the, the business community in the South End. So again, I just have to say congratulations and keep doing the work you're doing. Thank you. The Detroit Regional Chamber, the Arab American Chamber, Access, APAC, the Michigan Chamber, and nearly 400 other organizations in the state have joined us to endorse NO on Proposal 3. And a special congratulations to the scholarship recipients and their families. Thank you. And at this time, I would, however, like to recognize a few individuals who are with us this evening. I know Mayor Arati did part of my job, but I would like to recognize um, the people that are here you are all very much valued. You're all VIPs. But I would like to mention Congressman John Dingell, of course, is with us this evening. <laughs> Mayor Jack O'Reilly, of course, from the city of Dearborn. Our wonderful, efficient, terrific chief of police, Ronald Haddad, is with us as well. Stanley Henderson, who we're going to be hearing from, U of M Dearborn, Vice Chancellor. <laughs> Hassan Jafar, my husband, representing Dearborn Public School. <laughs> George Durani, State Representative. <laughs> Gary Warnchek is with us as well. <laughs> and our beloved Mayor Hey, Deuce, from the city of Wayne. And of course, our own Rashida Slave, who we're very, very proud of. I tell Rashida, every time I see you, I bust at the seams, and, and I'm very, very proud of her. We also have a very, very special person with us uh, who will soon hope to call Judge Salem Salami is with us today. And when I talk about voting in November, please remember to vote. We have our Wayne County Executive, Robert Facano, who is with us as well. And Nazni is pointing to Trustee McDonald is with us from Dearborn Public School. Welcome. Thank you, Ms. Nazni. And welcome all, and if I've missed anyone, I very much apologize, but thank you all for being here. You always have a wonderful show of support for this entity, and uh, very, very, very grateful. I have also have programs that led by women, and also they have programs for the whole family from indoor to outdoor. They have picnics they do every year for the whole family. So again, thank you for taking care of women and also for the whole family. Because of so much objection, Please, help us help you. Over the last couple of years, I've had the chance to be really involved with Yaba, and a lot of people might ask why. You're a Gamini girl, you're educated, you have a job, you go to school, why do you take the extra time to jump into this group and to be involved? The Yemeni students face some unique cultural challenges, and for me to be able to look at my left and to see some very, very brilliant students who I know are gonna get far in life, who I've personally worked with, that makes me really proud. And that means I'm a part of the change that we're working towards. The second reason is a lot of what Aswan already talked about, and that's for the sake of women. A lot of women don't have the opportunities, especially in Yemeni communities, to succeed and excel or to participate in things that they deserve. Those students who don't realize their dreams, I want to suggest particularly to these young people and to every other student in the room tonight, whether you are a college student, a high school student, or an elementary student, I want to suggest that if you don't reach your goals and your dreams and your ambitions when you leave from your college experience, you have been stuck in an institution. We do have one very, very special scholarship, and which was graciously um, 
donated on behalf of attorney Germana Peruz, who has committed to donate a yearly scholarship to Yaba, to Yaba Student of the Year, uh, which is a, an, an amazing um, commitment. So please help me welcome to the podium Fatum Matahar and Adil Mozib to present our Student of the Year with the attorney Jumana Peru's Empowerment Through Education Yearly Scholarship. And while pictures are being taken, I'll go on and continue just to talk about the sponsor that made the scholarship possible. Jumana Peru's has been recognized by her peers as one of the best attorneys in the state of Michigan. She started at the University of Beirut, went to Yale, and came and began her own law firm here. She's involved in many community organizations, including DMAN, the Anti-Discriminatory Committee, um, the Arab American Political Action Committee, among many other groups. She even has a radio program on WNKZ Radio on Fridays from 12.30 to 1, where she's able to give legal advice to many people that are interested in hearing it. On her behalf, I'd like to invite Lena and Hosseini on stage with us as well. Good evening and uh, thank you so much for uh, this wonderful and great event. And on behalf of Mrs. Uh, Jumana Kiruz, I would like to congratulate Ghanim Hussein for his achievement uh, and uh, for uh, also this uh, scholarship. Uh, and I'm sure this scholarship will be beginning to build a long relationship with the Yemeni American community. Mrs. Kiruz wants to be uh, to empower the Yemeni youth as uh, she believes strongly uh, that our youth is uh, the future and she wanted to be with us today tonight but unfortunately she's out of the country on her behalf I would like to uh, present uh, this achievement and as I said I would like to uh, uh, ask uh, Fatou please to present it to Ghanim Hussein as uh, our youth is the future. 